So today we are participating in the World Council of Churches Pilgrimage for Justice and Peace. And the group that's going to be participating are the uh, third year public theology uh, students from uh, the Faculty of Theology at the University of Stellenbosch. And uh, our participation is going to be in the form of reflecting on what it means to be Christian in some of the different publics of society. And uh, our understanding of the notion of uh, the different publics is shaped by some of the uh, reading and thinking that we've been doing. And uh, in particular, David Tracy has always thought of uh, the notion of the publics of society in terms of the three different publics. Uh, so the public of the academy, uh, the public of the church, and the public of society at large. So we're going to be visiting a number of different sites, starting at the university on campus, thinking what does it mean to do uh, theology in the public of the Theological Academy. We'll visit a church which na naturally has a different context. We'll visit a place of business and activity and work where people are coming and going and then we'll end up on the secular university campus. So it's a joy for us to be a part of this and we hope the reflective experience is going to be worthwhile in shaping not only our thoughts and our theology but also our faith. So this is our first stop on uh, the pilgrimage of justice and peace. And uh, behind me here, you'll see the Faculty of Theology building. I'm Bulelo. <laughs> and um, this is uh, the Faculty of Theology at the University of Stellenbosch. And uh, it's been in existence for uh, 150 something years. Uh, here comes Uncle Howard. Hello, Uncle Howard. <laughs> Now, the first uh, stop that we've got here at the Faculty of Theology is an opportunity for us to reflect on what it means to do academic theology. And uh, this is what David Tracy would have called uh, the public of the academy. I think he would have meant a place a little bit like this, uh, an academic institution where uh, one does academic theology. Hello, colleagues. <laughs> so, um, here the kind of theology that's done is, is fairly technical, often it's intended uh, for an academic audience. Um, it may have, uh, certainly it, it should have application for the church and society at large, uh, when it's done well and often when it's translated. But here we want to stop and reflect, what does it mean for us to do theology in this place? How do we do it? Who do we do it for? And uh, what does it mean to be Christian here? So this is our first stop. Uh, from here, we are moving on uh, to the next three stops on our pilgrimage. So the second stop on our journey today will be the uh, Rhenish church here behind me. It's one of the uh, older churches in Stellenbosch, established in 1840. And uh, in this particular space, we'll be thinking about what it means, uh, particularly for uh, the pastor of a church, the minister of a church, uh, to do the kind of theology that inspires people for their daily life, uh, living in their communities, in the world of work, in study, uh, in their homes and how we inspire and lead people and facilitate for them uh, a life of uh, Christian discipleship. So we look forward to spending a bit of time here uh, at the Rhenish Church. So the next space that we're going to be visiting is uh, quite a different place from where we've been in the sort of protected environment of the university. We will be out on the streets uh, here in Stellenbosch in uh, the middle of a business area uh, that has some formal and informal traders. You can hear the noise levels are different, uh, the level of activity, the frenetic level of activity is a bit higher. And uh, we also need to reflect and think, what does it mean to uh, do theology for this context, for people who spend their lives working or living uh, in this kind of context? So this is a very important 
part of our reflection. majority of uh, South Africans, uh, those who are fortunate enough to be able to work, um, most of them are going to be coming into uh, a city or a town uh, like this by means of uh, what in South Africa is known as a taxi. So the taxi rank tends to be a hive of activity. It's a place uh, where people can uh, do their shopping. Uh, it's a central hub for uh, transport and uh, in some of the larger uh, centers in South Africa, there are even uh, ministries going on. So street preachers and uh, people who come to, uh, to do uh, upliftment work, development work, preach the gospel uh, for people who are coming in uh, from outlying areas into a region like Stellenbosch uh, using a taxi. So uh, the what would that be? The uh, third place in which we will stop on our pilgrimage is uh, the taxi rank. And this will be an opportunity for us to reflect on what it means to be part of the people of South Africa, to do theology for the people, not for the uh, academy, uh, not for the suburban church, but specifically to think what does it mean to do theology for people who are getting up early, uh, going home late, uh, some of them doing work that they love to do, others just doing work that they need to do in order to survive. What does it mean to do theology in this place and theology for these wonderful people? So here we are in the center of uh, the university campus. This is our fourth and final stop on uh, the World Council of Churches pilgrimage for justice and peace. And uh, here particularly we'll be thinking about uh, what it means to be a Christian and what it means to do theology, who one does theology for when you're working in this space. Um, and there are probably a few different kinds of theology that can be done. There's the individual a Christian disciple who thinks what does it mean to be faithful uh, if you work or study at an institution like this. Uh, you probably will have uh, the persons who uh, need to engage perhaps uh, scientists or politicians or economists or social scientists about the uh, specific discipline fields, finding ways to learn from them, to understand what they're doing and uh, to find uh, meaning and value in, in the work that they're doing to help us to understand ourselves and the world better. Um, and probably uh, in this space as well, one would want to be thinking, uh, how can we make the world a better place? I mean, certainly I, I guess uh, in terms of public theology, we don't expect that every person who's going to make the world uh, the place that it should be necessarily needs to be uh, Christian. Um, people are thinking all sorts of thoughts from different faith traditions and perspectives about meaning. So in this fourth and final space we'll be asking ourselves uh, what does it mean here on the secular university campus uh, to do the work of public theology. Perhaps this is also part of uh, what Tracy would have called uh, the general public or the, the society, uh, the public of society at large or in general. Yep, what is your name? Ryan, thanks for taking a picture. Let me just turn the camera around. So uh, this is Ryan. Uh, I grabbed him here on the Roy plane and asked him just to uh, take a picture of me uh, for Instagram uh, of me recording this vlog. Ryan, thanks very much. You're so very welcome, sir. Appreciate Have it. Have a good day. Short, it's going to be very short. What is your name? And uh, just tell me, uh, what does faith mean on the university campus and does it mean anything for you? 
Uh, my name's Kelsey. Uh, to me, it, it doesn't necessarily not mean anything. I'm just not a person of faith per se. And yeah, it doesn't really affect my studies. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Kelsey. I feel like a Okay, Zander, that's it. Yeah, hi, my name is Zander, and uh, the role I think that faith plays in the university is uh, definitely with regards to a sense of purpose. I think everyone here is starting to be something more, and I think faith plays a huge role because it can actually help guide them in their direction. So it's, it's always important to ask yourself what do you think your purpose on earth is and how you can help others. And Zander, tell me, um, thanks, thanks for that answer. Do you, uh, do you belong to a, a faith community, a church or a group or something? Um, yeah, I like to go to um, every nation and um, yeah, sometimes, you know, also do a uh, craze cat, but uh, wherever, yeah, it depends on where my friends go and yeah, it's nice and comfortable wherever we go and you know, you feel accepted wherever you are. Excellent, wonderful. Thanks, Zander. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, cheers. Okay, tell me what's your name and uh, should faith play any role in the university and what do you think it should be? My name's Keisha Laura Ali. From that you can probably guess that my surname is Arabic. My dad's Muslim, my mom's Christian. Uh, my sister at the moment is a practicing Wiccan. Um, and I think the problem with making faith a part of an institution like this is that you lose objectivity people become ostracized because of their faith and the emphasis on the learning which is what a tertiary institution like this is for loses focus it becomes censored by faith and religion but this is an it's an immune space it should be beautiful thank you i appreciate it